Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, he's a good God. Thank you, Jesus. Well, we didn't just come to look at each other, y'all. We got a purpose for being here. And really and truly, we owe God praise. That's what we made for. We made to enter into his gates with thanksgiving, into his courts with praise. And then we got to be thankful unto him. And the Bible says, and then bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy endures forever. Y'all better come on and talk to me. Now tell him, thank you for being a good God. Well, bless God. I don't know about you, but I'm happy. God's been good to me. Woo. I know he didn't have to do it, but he did. This time we're going to have a prayer coming to us from Superintendent Johnny Evans. Following him will be our New Testament scripture by Elder Harris and our Old Testament scripture coming to us from Superintendent Tables. Amen. With bad heads. Father God, that we have come tonight once more again. We thank you, O Lord, for how you have blessed us these three nights. You blessed us to come back together to the sanctuary. Give us a mind to look to the hills from what I have come from. We count it a blessing, O Lord, to be living among the peoples. We are very thankful because we know that we are next in line. When I said next in line, we ask you, O oh God, that you would bless us to be like Hezekiah. In the 20th chapter, 29th chapter book of 2nd Chronicle, in the 2nd verse, where the lights of the, of the Lord's house were put out. And the Lord spoke to Hezekiah and told him, said, go down there and call the peoples together. We want to say today that he said, I've done that which was right in the sight of the Lord, called unto my father David. So here we are today, standing in the need of prayer. We need you, it'll look on your people. We need you to stretch out your hand over your flock. Jesus, I said, Jesus, we leaning on you tonight. We pinning on your holy word, Lord. You spoke a word again in Matthew 24 and 35. You said, heaven and earth might pass away, but my word will never pass. We're going to stand on your word tonight. So we're going to stand on your word. My trust is in you. I'm leaning on you in a pandemic mode. We know, we know you're able to bring us out. In my last call today, Paul said these words when he was in the ship the other day. He said, stay with the ship. I want to stay with the church. Because if we stay with the church, the ship busted. But oh Lord, it, when we stay with the ship, they got the safety. And I come to the close tonight, thank you for what you've already done. Thank you for what you brought me through. Thank you, oh Lord. Speaking to COVID-19, it passed us over, left us here to preach your word, left us here to lift up, thank, praise it to the Lord, and my soul say, yeah, thank God for Jesus, amen. Ooh. the word of the Lord, Psalms 100, we come tonight, I'll be reading from the New King James Version, excuse me, the NIV, shout a joy, a joy to the Lord, all the earth, worship him, the Lord, with gladness, come before him with joyful song, know that the Lord, he is God, it is he who has made us and that we, not we ourselves, we are his people and the sheep of his pastor. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and into his court with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name for the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness 
continue throughout all generations. The word of the Lord is blessed. Coming to you from the book of Galatians, the sixth chapter, verse number nine, and let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. So then, as we have opportunity, let us work that which is good towards all men, especially towards them that are of the household of faith. The reading of God's word is blessed. As we remain standing, our affirmation of faith, we affirm our faith in the Bible. We affirm our faith in God. We affirm our faith in the blessed hope. We affirm our faith in repentance and salvation. We affirm our faith in the Holy Ghost. We affirm our faith in Jesus Christ. We affirm our faith in baptism. We believe, we affirm our faith in salvation, sanctification. We, by the power of the Holy Spirit, by whom this dwelling, the Christian is able to live a separated life in this present world. Amen. Well, come on, let's, we've expressed our affirmation of faith, and that's silly with a praise and tell God, thank you. <laughs> amen, amen. At this time, we're going to be blessed from our jurisdictional praise team as they come to render us a number. Come on, put those hands together and give God praise. Put those hands together and give God praise. Come on here. We haven't seen each other in a while. Come on. Can you just do me a favor and give God your best praise? Come on. While you're giving him your best praise, look over, look over at somebody and tell them, I'm glad to be here. Come on. Y'all didn't say it like you mean it. Look at somebody and tell them, say, neighbor, I'm glad to be here. In the, in the house of the Lord. Come on, neighbor. neighbor. I, don't I don't know about you, but I'm going to praise him tonight. Praise neighbor, him. come on. I came to give him my best praise. Yeah. Neighbor. neighbor, God's been good to me. I wish I had some help in here tonight. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. I don't know what you come to do tonight, but we came to lift him up. We came to glorify him. He's worthy of the praise. Yes, he's worthy of the praise. Hallelujah. Saints, on tonight, we're certainly glad that you are here. I don't know about you, but I'm glad to see you. Hallelujah. We have come from Wichita Falls. We've come from Lubbock. We've come from uh, Amarillo. We've come from Midland. We've come from all of these regions, hallelujah, and we've come to gather and to worship and to lift up the name of Jesus. Is that what we come to do tonight? Amen, amen. Come on, it's the last night. Let's give him glory, honor, and praise. 
We're going to lift him up tonight, but I just thought about something. Hallelujah. I just want you to do me a favor. I know uh, you may be getting situated as some of you are coming in, but you know, I believe that uh, according to the scripture that uh, David said, I will bless the Lord at all times. Yes. And his praises shall continually be in my mouth. Amen. Amen. Anybody got a praise yes. in your mouth? Hallelujah. On your lips, ready to get it out tonight? Yes. And then the scripture also says, bless the Lord, oh my soul. Yes. I love to say it like this. Your soul is your mind, your will, and your emotions. So tonight I'm going to give God my mind. I'm going to give him my will. I'm going to give him my emotions. Because I'm going to bless the Lord. Oh, my soul and all that is within me. Come on, my hands are going to bless him. Come on. My eyes are going to bless him. My lips are going to bless him. Come on in here, somebody. Hallelujah. I got breath in me. My kidneys are going to bless him. Come on. Hallelujah. If you come to bless him tonight, come on, just stand for just a moment and give him praise again. Come on, give him praise again. Give him praise again. Hallelujah. Give him praise again. Hallelujah. We came to be participators. We're not spectators, but we came to participate. That means we come to give God our best praise. Hallelujah. We come to give him a praise where sometimes we may have to press through. Hallelujah. It took me a while to get from out of town to here, but I pressed to get here. I'm not feeling well in my body, but I pressed to be here. Come on in here. Help me somebody tonight. Hallelujah. I had troubles and obstacles in the way, but I pressed to get here tonight. Hallelujah. And I'm going to give God my everything. Hallelujah. 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 Come on in here. I feel something moving. I feel something breaking. Hallelujah. Come on. You don't have to look me over. Come on. Let's look to the hills from which cometh our help. All of our help comes from the Lord. Hallelujah. He made the heavens. He made the earth. Come on. He threw the stars in the sky. Come on. He put the moon to shine at night. Come on and lift him up tonight. Come on and lift him up tonight. Hallelujah. 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 The best time to praise God is when you feel good and when you don't feel good. This is the best time to give him your best praise. Come on, give him a praise. Give him a praise. Give him a praise. Hallelujah. Come on, don't make me work so hard. Come on, come on. Come on, we're going to exhaust ourselves tonight. Hallelujah, we're going to make the word ready tonight. Hallelujah, we're going to make sure that the preacher can come in and there's a flow, there's a power in the room. There's an anointing in the room that lifts burdens and destroys yokes. Come on and give them a praise tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God, 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 glory to God. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter what song is going to come up. Hallelujah, because I'm going to praise God anyway. Come on, give him a praise tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you. I'm reminded of the scripture. We're getting ready to sing, but I'm reminded of the scripture in Revelations, the 12th chapter that says, And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto the death, but they overcame him by the word of their testimony. And we were listening on this week as our queen mother, we thank God for Mother Watson, but she gave her testimony how she got COVID, but she made it through it. Come on in here, somebody. Hallelujah. 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 And she gets to live, hallelujah, to see another day 
to worship God, to lift him up. Hallelujah. Is there anybody in here? Hallelujah. Your testimony is you had COVID. Is there anybody? Raise your hand. If you had it, hallelujah, hallelujah. you had it and you recovered. Look at somebody and tell them, say, you recovered, you recovered. That's your testimony. You recovered. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so if you know that, hallelujah, then your testimony is I'm going to live to give God the glory, the honor, and the praise. If you believe that tonight, come on, clap your hands and give him praise. I believe this song is befitting tonight. Hallelujah, because we're going to lift him up. Because we know that there's greater coming. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, put those hands together. Hallelujah. I want you to help me tonight. Hallelujah. And just sing it after me. You're going to live, live, live. You're going to live, live, live. Come on and say, you're going to live, live, live. You're going to live, live. Now that's the whole song. Now look at somebody and say, you shall live and not die. But you shall declare the glory of the Lord. Come on, look over at somebody else again and tell them, say, you shall live and not die. But you shall declare the glory of the Lord. Some of y'all not obedient. Come on, shout it again. You shall live and not die. But you shall declare the glory of the Lord. Well, come on, let's declare his glory tonight. His glory is in the room tonight. Let's declare it. Hallelujah. You're going, you're going to live, live, live. Come on and tell him, you're going to live. Come on, put those hands together. You're going to live, live, live. I need to hear you. You're going to live. Come on. You're going to live, live, live. You're going to live, live, live. Now come on, clap your hands and praise him. Come on. We come to lift him up tonight. Hallelujah. We bless you tonight because you're worthy. Hallelujah. Lift him up. You're going to live. Live, live, you're going to live. Live, live. You're going to live and declare God's glory tonight. You're going to live. Come on and tell them, get ready to live. God has so much in store for us. So let's give him glory tonight. Hallelujah. Put those hands together. Hallelujah. We come to bless him. We come to bless him. Come on, put those hands together. Hallelujah. We come to bless you. Hallelujah. Come on, we're going to declare it tonight that there is life in you. I said there's life in you. Everything that have breath live tonight because there's life in you. Hallelujah. There's life in you. Hallelujah. We give you glory. We give you glory. Hallelujah. Come on to heaven and say, you're going to live to see it happen. Come on, so call and response tonight. So you're going to live to see everything God has for you. You're going to live to see it happen. You're going to live to see it happen. Live, 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 live. Come on, live, 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 live. Live, 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 live. Live, 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 live. You're going to live. gonna live to see it happen come on come on there's life in you and you're gonna live to see it happen 
tonight. Come on. Hallelujah. We give him glory tonight. You're going to live to declare the glory of the Lord. Some of you ain't called it yet, but if you called it, come on. Clap those hands and lift them up. Come on. Let's lift him up. Hey. Come on. Live, 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 live. I speak life in you. those hands. Oh, sweet wonder, Jesus. 
the Son, come on and help me, of God. Come on. Oh, sweet wonder. About a man, Oh, sweet Jesus, the Son of God. He's a wonder in my soul. He's come on, help me, Zion. In my soul, he's a wonder. In my soul, bless his name. Come on, Zion. He's a wonder. In my soul, he's a wonder. In my soul. He's a wonder in my soul. Bless his name. You know where I'm going. Yes. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Hands ought to be lifted everywhere. Come on. Yes. Oh. Yeah. About Amanda Boshaya. Come on, surrender tonight. Yes, come on, tell God that tonight. Yes. Yeah. Glory to God, glory to God. Lift up those hands. Sweet wonder, lift up those hands. Oh, sweet wonder, Jesus, the Son of God. Come on, tell him that. Oh, sweet wonder. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You are wonder in me, God. I thank you. Come on, come on. The sun. Ah, God, he's a wonder one last time in my soul. Come on, wave your hand. He. In my soul, he's a wonder. Come on, help me. In my, my soul, bless. Yes, yes, yes. He's a wonder. In my soul, he's a wonder. In my soul, he's a wonder. In my play, his name. Clap those hands and give him praise. Come on, clap those hands and give him praise. Well, come on, bless the Lord. He is a wonder. Certainly, we're so grateful to God for this privilege coming in of our leader, the right Reverend William H. Watson III. Come on, let's celebrate him. We give him all the honor and to our distinguished guest, Bishop Bush. God bless you, sir. And to first administrative assistant, Superintendent Kenan Weatherspoon, Superintendent Keenan, and to our lovely, illustrious supervisor. How about a big hand for Sister Mary Bond? 
and the fragrance of our jurisdiction, Dr. Stacy Watson. And the mother above all mothers, queen mother, Sister Watson. And to all of the, her staff, to all the superintendents, pastors, and elders, certainly we are grateful to God for this privilege to be here. What a blessing. Can we celebrate Pastor Collins one more time? I don't know about you, but that's, that's one of the major songs of our church. What a wonder he is. And he's proven himself to be just that. He is a good God. I want to challenge you tonight before we hear from our jurisdictional choir. I want to challenge you tonight to something. You go to get a replacement of your driver's license, your social security card, or whatever it is. And nowadays there is a requirement that you have your birth certificate. And that is for the purpose of no one being able to steal your identity. Well, I want you to let your minds go back tonight to when you first got saved and the first praise that came out of your mouth. I got news for you. That's your birth certificate. God wants you to present your birth certificate to him tonight so that he can inhabit the praise of his people. Come on, let's give God your best praise. Come on, when you first got saved. Hallelujah! But thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Woo! Glory to God! Come on! Give him the identity of who you are. God wants your best praise. Set this atmosphere where he can come in and bless our hearts real good tonight. I don't know about you, but I got saved telling him thank you. You don't know my story like I do. <laughs> God brought me a mighty long way, and I'm so grateful to God. So whenever I get a chance to tell him thank you, I tell him thank you for being so good to me. He inhabits your praise. Your praise is your weapon. It really unlocks heaven's door. Amen? So don't just sit and look. Let's participate. Let's give God what God has given to us, the privilege of coming into his house one more time. Come on, let's celebrate our choir as they come now to render us a number.
Well, bless the Lord. How many of you don't want him to pass you by? We don't want to live this long and then get passed up. How many of you don't want him to pass you by? Do not pass me by. God bless you, choir. God bless you. Wonderful rendition of that number. This time I'm going to turn it over into the hands of our Jurisdictional Finance Committee, to the hands of our first administrative assistant, Superintendent Weatherspoon. It has been my pleasure and my honor to stand before you on tonight. Remember, don't die a copycat. You got a birth certificate. Praise God for who you are. Amen? Amen. Superintendent Weatherspoon. God bless you. How many of you believe that the Lord is here tonight? Lift your hands and tell him thank you. If you believe it, tell him thank you. If the Lord is blessing you right now, tell him thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you. We thank God tonight for the service this far. And uh, we thank, give honor to our leader tonight, Bishop Watson, and to our guest, uh, Bishop Kobe Bush, and to Administrative Assistant Keenan, and to all the superintendents, to Mother Barnes, and to her cabinet, and to the First Lady of this jurisdiction, and Queen Mother. We are glad to be here tonight. We thank God for tonight. Thank him that he blessed us all week long to be here in the house of God one more time. This is the close of a great meeting. We've had a wonderful time. These three nights, the Lord has blessed us. Now we're here to be a blessing to our leader, to Bishop Watson. Let's say amen again. Come on, let's say amen. Preachers, we're here this evening to do what, preachers? Amen. To bless our bishop. Amen. We're going to ask the financiers to come and tell you what we're going to do. We're going to do a little different tonight. I'm asking that every, I hope that you went by the office and paid your, spec, gave your special offering. If you haven't, you can give it here. But right now, we want to take a public offering and uh, something that have not been done in a long time. We want to lift a public offering. And I'm going to start this offering off with a hundred dollars. I've talked to the pastors and preachers all, and they're going to do the same. Say amen. They're going to help us. We want to be a great blessing to our leaders. I'm going to ask all the preachers to stand at this time. Pastor Cotton is giving his. Superintendent Keenan. Uh, Pastor Collins, he uses electronic. Come on, pastors. Electronic, Alexander. God bless you, Superintendent Allen, 100, official offering, he's giving 200, thank you. Session 100. This is your dad. Ella Downing, 100. Superintendent Downing sent his offering tonight. President of our Sunday School Department, Ella Pringle, is giving 200. 
any other pastors, superintendents and all. All right. Again, if you want to do text to give, you can, uh, the number is 833-920-1642. And in the message, okay. just put in there, give, type in give. Again, that number is 833-920-1642. And type in give, G-I-V-E. We're going to ask at this time Mother Barnes to come she can direct the women on what she wants them to do. And afterwards, we will receive the offering from the public. God bless you, Superintendent. Amen. We thank the Lord for each of you, the Lord's children, and certainly we came to do a bumper job on tonight. And I'm going to ask start out with the district missionaries and the assistant missionaries, and then we're going to ask all the women who are in your lovely habits, all of the licensed, credential women, if you will come now. We're going to ask you, uh, district missionaries and assistants, if you will give $50 in this offering, and everyone else, please don't give less than $20 in this offering. We're going to ask you to come quickly right now. I'm going to start mine off with $500. I also want to announce that our supervisor, Vanessa Gatlin, left her offering for our bishop, $100. Come quickly. All right, we've got some on electronics. Well, we got electronics working. District Missionary Gail Nelson, Midland District, $50. Assistant District Missionary. Bishop Bell left 150. $100. That was here on Wednesday night. District Missionary Hattie Scott, $50. District Missionary Patricia Pringle, $60. God bless your Assistant District Missionary, $25. McDonald, District Missionary. Bless uh, Superintendent Cairo, $200. Amarillo District, $60. Uh, uh, District Missionary Angelia Newton, electronic. Did you say 50 or 60, sir? $60, all right. Superintendent T. Thompson, $200. Let's say amen. Missionary, Assistant District Missionary Teresa Colvin, $25. Assistant District Missionary uh, Doris Ski, $20. Did I miss anybody? All right, come on, missionaries. I want y'all missionaries, come on. Y'all got dressed up tonight. Thank the Lord. You're looking mighty good. All right. And Missionary Paula Bibbs, 25, electronic. God bless you. Uh, Assistant District Missionary uh, Betty Weatherspoon, $50. Uh, God bless you. 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 So then the kingdom is giving 200 official offering plus the public. All right. All right. I will let uh, come back again. Okay. At this time, we're going to ask everyone. Don't give us no less than $25 in this public offering. Standing all over the house. All over the house. We're going to ask you to bow your head as Ella Collins lead us into prayer. Father, thank you tonight for your goodness, your mercy, your grace. We realize, God, that we are sowing into good ground. We thank you for our bishop. We know, God, that he's a man of integrity. We know, God, that, Lord, you've called him, hallelujah, over this jurisdiction and to lead these men and women of God. We ask, God, that as we plant seed in the good ground, God, that you will give back to some. Some don't need a car. They don't need a house. Some need peace. Some need joy. Give them back what they need, God. Let the harvest come 
and greater. In the name of Jesus, we pray, and we'll be so careful to give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. And let every heart say, thank God, amen, and amen. Okay, and you in the hands of the Hersha. Musicians, give us some marching music. We want you to come from everywhere. been affected by COVID, but yet God is good to us, yet he has blessed us to be here, be in the land of the living, praise God, take a deep breath and just feel how good it feels, just to take a deep breath, it's God that did that, and we are thankful, come on, let's praise God, we are thankful for every breath. God allows us to breathe because it didn't have to be so. Bishop, we want you to know we've been praying for you throughout this time. Well, we always pray for you. This ain't nothing new. But we turn up to prayer this time because we wanted God to cover our leader. Amen. Our hearts have been broken with so many saints that have gone on. We're going to miss them. But God is, oh yeah, glory. God has left us here. And we want to appreciate one another. Come on. We want to appreciate one another. If I haven't told you lately, I love you. And ain't nothing you can do about that but receive my love. Bishop, we love you. The Dep Women Department of Texas Northwest Church of God in Christ. And y'all can say it, man. We love you. We love you. We respect you. We appreciate your leadership. I just get tickled pink. Just seeing you move in the national and seeing how the Lord is working with you. I really enjoy seeing what God is doing in your life. We had some things planned. Some of it is on delay. It ain't denied. Just on delay. What I told you I was going to tell you about. Mm-hmm. Got some good things coming. But we have come through on a lot of other things, Bishop. So tonight we want to make sure that you know where the bucket at. Okay, hold on to that bucket. Amen. We're going to ask all the women that have went by the women's department and been in the office, all the district missionaries, this envelope is for you. Official offerings that have come through the Department of Women. Bishop, it's, it's, it's got a little weight on it. Yes, it do. What are we going to say? One, two, three. Bam! Bam! There you go, Bishop. Hallelujah. We get that from Emma Lugasi, who is a cook. I love to cook uh, Bishop Bush, and, and uh, every now and then when he put some good seasoning in there, he have to holler, bam! So that's what we do. We put good seasoning in this offering. Hallelujah. And of course, Bishop, we always got to do our sideline. Amen. It don't matter. Uh, you know, some of the district missionaries ain't been able to do what they normally do, but that ain't going to stop us from doing what we want to do. In fact, 2022, we're going to have to take it up another notch. But right now, we're going to keep it right where it's at. We ain't coming under. We still going over. So right here in this envelope is our special sideline offering, and it's got, it's a, it's a check, but it's got some weight on it. And what y'all going to have to tell the bishop? Pam! Pam, bishop! 
Hallelujah. Now we know that we love our bishop, but we love Lady Stacy Watson too. Amen. A beautiful first lady. We want you to know, Dr. Stacy Watson, that the women came together on Thursday. Amen. And we want to present you with this beautiful card and love gift of $500. Uh, we're not through for the Watson household. Uh, we know that this time of year, we like to make sure we don't just take care of our bishop financially. Uh, we still old school. Y'all don't mind if I stay old school, do you? We still like doing our pounds rally, bishop. So I, the reason I'm so tired and ain't jumping and shouting like I always do, because I'm tired. I've been shopping, bishop, and uh, we want you to know that everything your, your, your lovely wife put on the list is right there on that card. Amen. <laughs> And all that she didn't put on the list, oh yeah. And all that is isn't on the list is in the card. Amen, because this time we didn't go by the meat department, but we got you some meat money. You can put whatever meat you won't have. Amen. I already gave you your case of hot legs. So, but anyway. Get the meat too, Bishop. All right. <laughs> uh, uh, all right, y'all, y'all, y'all. Thank the women's department. Give the women's department a hand. Oh, yeah. All right. And Bishop, we want to also let you know we love and will never forget our own Queen Mother. Yeah. Amen. We have a love card and gift, some love in there for you, Mother. Amen. Do what you will with it. Amen. Mother Haynes, we thank God for you. You always come in and, and, and come help the women's department, and we want to love and appreciate you as well. God bless you, Mother Haynes. All right, I didn't run out. Anybody want to give me some more money? Okay, it's all back to you. Thank you, Mother. Thank you. Let's give Mother a hand. Amen. The offering have been blessed and everything. Bishop, on behalf of your adjutant corps, you have a group of young men that are coming up, but they are coming up in the right way because they want to make sure that they sow into their, to their leader. And so all of the brothers here tonight are represented. I want to just sow just a little seed of $650, if that's okay. God bless you. God bless you. He's told me it's not all, so I'm going to, is the choir got a presentation? Amen. If not, we thank you for what you've done at this time. God bless you. Come on, let's give God another hand of praise. Thank you for being a blessing. Thank you for being a blessing to our leader. And next on our agenda, we're going to have our observations coming to us from our assistant jurisdictional secretary, Elder Robert Downing. Let's say amen for him as he comes. God bless you tonight. Amen. I'm in the midst of a room full of survivors. Amen. But I have to put a modifier on that. Uh, and, and you can only say this if it's true, saved survivors. Because some people survived, and if they don't get saved, amen, they're going to miss out on going to heaven. But if you're sitting next to somebody that's a saved survivor, and if you're a saved survivor yourself, say, I'm a saved survivor. Tell somebody else I'm sitting, you're sitting next to a saved survivor. Won't you put your hands together and give God some praise? Amen. We honor our Bishop, Bishop William H. Watson III, and our guest, and to all of you, the people of the Lord. Welcome to the Texas Northwest Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction Church of God in Christ 65th Annual Holy Convocation. We would like to extend a Texas Northwest size welcome to tonight's guest, 
Bishop Corby Bush. Come on, let's give him a great God bless you. Amen. We want to welcome those also that have joined us online. We're going to ask that you would like and share our broadcast and also type in the comments and let us know uh, where you're watching from. Many people have been watching from across the nation, Augusta, Georgia, Houston, Texas, Florida, uh, Dallas, Texas, Denver, Colorado, uh, the country of India, uh, New Jersey, Arizona, California, and other places. And we're glad that you have joined us in our holy convocation. Amen. Pastors, if you have not already done so, please remit your church's $80 expense report to the finance office. Regional superintendents, if you have not already done so, please remit your regional report to the finance office. Our great leader, Bishop William H. Watson III, will be the guest speaker on Thursday, August the 5th, in the 49th Annual Holy Convocation for Texas Southeast First Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction in Houston, Texas with Bishop Kurt Thompson. Amen. You know some people, you got some family in Houston, tell them to go hear our bishop preach and let's pray God's mercy and grace and favor on him as he delivers the word on that evening. Please mark your calendars for the annual harvest rally for Mother Mary Barnes on Saturday, October the 2nd. Please also mark your calendars for the state pastor's anniversary for Bishop Watson starting the week of October the 4th. We want you to stay connected and stay in touch with us as we make plans for these and other Texas Northwest events. Please govern yourselves according to these observations. God bless you. Thank you, Elder Downey. Well, it is not mine to go any further. I have certainly enjoyed serving you on this evening. And Bishop, I thank you for this opportunity to do so. It is now time to hear the voice of our first administrative assistant who shall present to us as jurisdictional bishop. Say man for him. Amen. God bless you. It is mine tonight, my honor, my privilege to bring to you our leader tonight. Let us stand as we receive our leader, Bishop W.H. Watson III. God bless. Help me with this song. I love Jesus. He's my Savior. Storms are raging. He's my shelter. Where he leads me, I will follow. I love Jesus. He loves me. Oh, I love Jesus. Come on, sing it. He's my Savior. Storms are raging. Sing it, sing. I love the Lord, yeah. I love the Lord. He has been so good to me. I love the Lord. I love the Lord, yeah. I love the Lord. He has. Praise offering with your hand. Oh, bless that wonderful name. Come on and bless that wonderful name. 
best and wonderful name of Oh, no other names I know Well, there's power in the name of Power in the name of Power in the name of No other name I know Well, there's he Lord with the hand praise. Come on and bless him in here. the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me, I will bless his name. Come on and praise the Lord. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. He deserves our praise, saints. He deserves our praise, saints. Come on, don't panic the Lord. Don't play with the Lord. Bless him. Lift those hands and tell the Lord, thank you. Lift those hands and tell the Lord, thank you. Hallelujah. And we bless you, Father. And we bless you, Father. Father, right now, we come to you right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we receive a prayer request. We know that you are still in the healing business. And God, we go in behalf, on behalf of Deacon Sims right now. Touch his body, Father. We know that you are a healer. You are a way maker. You are a deliverer. So bless right now. Touch him from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet. In the name of Jesus, have your way, Father. Have your way, Father. Have your way, Father. Somebody touch and agree with me right now. Have your way, Father. Have your way, Father. Have your way, Father. Have your way, Father. And we bless you. And we bless you. We thank you for the fulfillment. We thank you for the healing. Somebody begin to bless him with the hand praise right now. We thank you for the healing. We speak it. It is so. And it is done. In the name of Jesus. Take your seat. If you can. Hallelujah. We bless God for you on tonight. Thank God for all of you that are here. First, I, I, I want to just appreciate what you have done on uh, this evening. Uh, I often say it. I'll say it again. You didn't have to do it, but you did. And so I appreciate your liberality. I, I praise God for you. And I pray that God will bless your hearts sincerely. Amen. Uh, we thank God for each of you that are here. Certainly we give deference and honor to our core group that helps to guide us everything that we do in Texas Northwest. Thank God for Administrative Assistant Kenneth Witherspoon, first Administrative Assistant done a bumper job on this evening. I thank God for him. Thank God for Administrative Assistant uh, William Keenan. Give him a hand. And uh, our 
our administrative assistant, Edward Downing, who's not able to be here on this week uh, with his wife. He's with his wife who is ailing, uh, but he's watching on, on, uh, on the Facebook Live. And so we praise God for him. Let's celebrate him on this evening. And to all of this Corps of Superintendents, I bless God for our, our generals in, in this army. Thank God for the superintendents, all of the pastors and all the elders. We honor you and give you deference. Uh, and to this woman of God, I certainly appreciate her and her, her liberal soul. And thank God for the supervisor, Mother Mary Barnes. God bless you. We love you. And to my dear and lovely wife, Thank God for Dr. Stacy Watson. And to the Queen Mother. Bless God for the Queen Mother. And to all the mother's staff uh, and sister. Uh, what's, her, what's the baby's name? Noah? Rain. Sister, God bless Sister Rain on this morning, this evening. Thank God for Sister Rain. <laughs> That's my great niece, my great niece, a sweet disposition. I wish all babies act like her. I wish all, I might have had a couple more if all babies act like her. Yeah. I thank God for the two that I have. I, I think I got two stand-up babies. I know they ain't babies. They, they grown. They, they, stand-up Taylor. Taylor Nicole Watson and William Cullen. Amen. Amen. Those are my kids. I'm proud of my kids. Amen. They could have been anywhere else, but they're in the choir stand. Amen, somebody. Amen. I thank God for my kids. Yeah, you know, you know they, they, they don't want to preach, or they don't want to marry no preacher and all that good stuff. I understand. I, I didn't either. <laughs> Amen, somebody. Yeah, I, I, I didn't want to preach, son. I didn't want to preach. I ain't going to say nothing else. That's all I got to say. Uh, before I go further, and, and I'm, I'm going to take just a little bit of time tonight uh, because this is the last night. Uh, there is a Maroon Genesis license plate, uh, Texas license plate, LWY uh, 6358. Your brake lights, or your, your lights are on. It's on the, the, I think they're parked on the east side. This is the east side, so they're parked over here um, in, the, in the parking lot. So if your lights, you have a Maroon Genesis, uh, go check out your, your vehicle there. Um, on this evening, there's a couple of things I want to do, and I, I want Mother to come. Uh, there's a presentation that, that she's going to make, an appointment that she want, wants to make on this evening. And then following her appointment, I'm, I'm going to make an appointment and, and a couple of giveaways here uh, real quick. God bless you, Bishop. Uh, we'd like to um, acknowledge that the wait has been long. Amen. And uh, the New Beginnings District has been... Amen. Without a district missionary for a little bit. And uh, superintendent has um, given me a recommendation, and I wholeheartedly concur with that recommendation. And this young lady has been vetted. Unfortunately, she's not able to be here tonight. She texts me that she just tested positive for COVID. So, of course, you know, I told the baby, you don't need to come. Uh, but nonetheless... Uh, we want to acknowledge the uh, district missionary designee. Now, we do have to go through proper protoc protocols and uh, have background checks. Y'all know what all we got to do. And uh, we will do those things coming up. But we want to formally announce the district missionary designee to be Missionary Flora Robinson for the New Beginnings District district with Superintendent Johnny Allen. God bless you, Superintendent. Uh, this is not for her. Yeah, we, we got something for her <laughs> once we get it from the National Church. All right. We do have another appointment we'd like to make on tonight. Uh, many of you do know that uh, Sister Karen Green, who was our Finance Committee chairperson, Lord blessed her with a, a good husband who took her away. I am still ain't talked to him yet, but nonetheless, <laughs> she's gone. And uh, we thank God for all of her work that she did. But we want to acknowledge on tonight and uh, solidify with a certificate of appointment the Jurisdictional uh, Department of Women for Special Work. This is to certify that missionary Paula Bibbs Samuels 
of Texas Northwest Jurisdiction is duly appointed. Wait, y'all don't know what I'm gonna tell y'all. She's gonna be the, the, the chairman of the Onion Committee. <laughs> they didn't wait to let me tell you what it was. Let me hear y'all holler now. <laughs> Praise the Lord. We are appointing her as the finance committee chairperson. She's already doing a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful job. And so it is official. You are the chairperson of the finance department. God bless you. Thank you, Bishop. Amen. Celebrate these the ascensions and appointments on this evening in the women's department. Amen. Uh, I have a couple of appointments I, I want to make as well. Um, I thank God for uh, men of God who stepped in and has done a wonderful job in the town of Coleman, Texas. And uh, we don't have a certificate. Uh, we'll be coming from the secretary's office, but we thank God for and I, I want to come, I want Brother uh, Elder Nathaniel Baker to come. We want to tonight officially appoint him as the pastor of Mount Calvary Church of God in Christ in Coleman, Texas. As well, uh, we had uh, a man who has been really, really faithful to the jurisdiction. Um, he was like, a, well, not like a brother. He was a brother uh, to me, uh, Elder Kiran Harrison. Uh, his family has transitioned from here. They now live in Alabama. Uh, so the office of the secretary uh, is vacated. And so on this evening, I want to appoint a man who I think a whole lot of has done an excellent job, works in excellence, um, and, and I believe will serve uh, in the capacity of secretary of the jurisdiction with, with honor and with excellence. Uh, at, so in this evening, I'd like to appoint uh, the elder Robert Downing to the office of the jurisdictional secretary. some books. Um, there is an author. Let me, let me have those books right quick. We have an author in our midst, one of our dear pastors, fine pastors, who is uh, uh, very faithful uh, to the Church of God in Christ and to Texas Northwest uh, for years. Uh, this, this pastor is none other than Pastor S. Ray Anderson. Stand up, Pastor Anderson. He, he, is a, he is an author now and wrote a book with the Almighty, Nothing Succeeds Like Failure. Excellent read. Uh, uh, many colleges all across the country, are, uh, especially Christian-based Christian, Christian -based colleges, are buying these books and giving, giving them to uh, their, their members or their students. And so it's an excellent read. And so I, I want to give out these books. I, I, I haven't quite figured out. I, I, think, I think what I'm going to do here with the missionaries and, huh? <laughs> well, you know what? Since y'all first, uh, one for, one for Sister, Sister uh, Samuels and one for Sister Nelson. Oh, oh well, we, somebody better, y'all better, okay. Okay, well, I, okay I, they, they're all gone. I got five. So I, here, here's, what, here's what I saw. Here's what I saw. I saw Sister McDonald. Next. I saw uh, uh, Pastor uh, uh, Cotton next, and I think I saw Gambles. I think that's, that's who I saw. I got five books. 
This, that's where they're going. Sister McDonald, Elder Gambles, and Elder Cotton. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Now, I, I, am, uh, I am so thankful. Uh, this week has been an excellent week to me, and uh, the Lord placed it in my heart to, uh, I know that it was, it was late notice, and it caused, called for some work um, to happen quick, fast, and hurry to put this convocation together. Um, but the Lord impressed upon me that fellowship was necessary in the life of our jurisdiction and the life of every believer. Amen, somebody. I talked about it a little bit at 12 noon on today, how, how uh, we need fellowship. Our psyche, our mental, uh, our mental makeup is, is, is of such that we need each other. Amen, somebody. And so I thank God for you, and I want to appreciate you for uh, taking out your time, your, your talent, your energy, your monies to be here and be a part of the 65th Annual Holy Convocation. Now give yourselves a hand. Bless God for these musicians, for the choir, for the adjutancy, for the administrative staff, the, 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 the women, the men, everybody that had a hand to, to, to put in, into putting this together, I want to appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Amen, somebody. And so Elder Collins, uh, 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 Pastor Daryl Collins, he's not only my brother-in-law, but he's a great man of God, and he just jumped right in, and he, and he got things done, and he made things work. So I want to appreciate Elder Collins on this evening. Um, uh, but we are ready, and I, I, uh, on this week, there were three people that, I, that, were, that were placed on my heart. Uh, I called them. Each of them said yes, rearranged their schedules so that they could be here with us. And Destry, Bishop Destry Bell blessed us on Wednesday night. Amen, somebody. Amen. And, and showed enough, the supervisor, uh, Vanessa Gatlin, just preached her little heart, preached our hearts happy. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. And on this evening, my big brother uh, uh, rearranged some things and, and came right down here. He has to preach somewhere tomorrow night, but, he, but he's here in Texas Northwest tonight. Yeah. Bishop Corby Bush. God bless you, Bishop. And so I want, you know, as our custom, I like to bless the men of God, uh, women, women of God, the speakers, before uh, the, they come and minister. So they don't have to, you know, worry about nothing. They don't have to press. And they just, they just, just minister the word of God. So at this time, I want the financiers to come. If you can get the, the, uh, the offering receptacles, the financiers will come and, and receive uh, this offering. I'm going to start this offering off with $250. And I, I believe that, that a man who labors and, and, and does the job of, and the, of the ministry, serves with compassion, serves with integrity. God bless you. $100 from Superintendent Evans. He's worthy of double honor. Amen, somebody. Amen. And so on this evening, every man of God that can, that can join me with $100, every woman of God that can join me with $50, and those that, that can give $20, God bless you. Superintendent Witherspoon, $100, $100 yes. Thank you. Uh, would you prepare your hearts? Uh, Elder Collins is giving he, electronically $100. Amen. Everybody... Thank you. Superintendent Allen, $100. Thank you. Superintendent Hunter, $100. Bless you. Thank you so kindly. Thank you kindly. Thank you kindly. Everybody, all right. Superintendent Keenan, $100. Elder Cotton, Pastor Cotton, $100. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. $100 from uh, Superintendent Edward Downey. Amen. Uh, Pastor Pringle, $100. Thank you so much. Pastor Harris, $100. Thank you so kindly. Thank you. Uh, $100 from Elder Alexander. God bless you. Oh, $100 from uh, uh, Superintendent Haynes. One, uh, yeah, electronically. And $100 from um, Superintendent Carr. God bless Elder Porter. Good to have you here, sir. $100 from Elder Porter, Pastor Porter. $200 from, from uh, Mother Mary Barnes. God bless you. Amen. Now, everyone else, please stand to your feet as we get ready to uh, receive this offering. Everyone, just stand to your feet. Whether you have something or whether you don't, just stand to your feet. We want to pray for you. 
If you have something, we ask God to bless your heart. If you don't have anything, we want God to bless your finances. Amen, somebody. Father God, we thank you right now. We honor you, God, and we love you, Father. We thank you for, for, for providing for us. You are a great God, and you never leave your children without. Father, right now, as we prepare to receive this offering, bless the giver in the name of Jesus, according to your word. Now, those that might not have God, touch them, God. Give them the energy, the strength to manage their money and to be a liberal and, and to give unto you, Father, as you have called them to. Now, Father, we bless you and we thank you for what we will receive in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. All right, turn you to the hands of the ushers. Y'all come from the rear and begin to sow into the kingdom of God. Emeritus Superintendent Ruben Cairo, $50. you thank you for what you have given we are we are ready to hear a word from the Lord uh, I thank God that Bishop Bush is here with us on this evening he preaches literally all across the globe all across the earth a uh, man who is given to mission he serves as the prelate of the Ethiopia jurisdiction of the Church of God in Christ yes we have churches in Ethiopia Amen, somebody. And he goes all across the world ministering the gospel. He's been preaching since he was 19 years old, I believe. And so God has gifted him richly with the word, a powerful speaker, anointed man of God, and he is my brother. We, we are family, and I, I love this man of God, and I thank God for him. As he uh, mounts the pulpit and the podium, I ask that you would rest upon your feet. We want to hear a song from the choir, and immediately after the choir, y'all have a seat. Immediately after the choir has sung, and he comes to, to present to us, rest upon your feet. Thank you. God bless you.
want you to point across the room to two or three people, and I want you to tell them this. God is able. God is able. Come on, tell a few people. God is able. Hi! I want you to point your finger to two or three people. Look at them and point them. You can't grab their hand, but look at them and tell them, God is able. Come on, tell them God is able. God is able. Shout real loud, he's able, he's able. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care how long you've had to go through it. Raise your hand, open your mouth, and say, God is able. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. I'm almost through with my message. Yes, he is. I came here to tell you because the Holy Ghost spoke to me and said, you go tell them that no matter what they're facing tonight, tell them I'm able. Thank you, Jesus. I want to honor tonight one of the greatest men that I've ever met in my life, and that's your jurisdictional bishop, Bishop William Watson III. He is so, so very dear to me. I love him so dear. I told him, I said, when I die, I want you to preach my funeral. I'm not preaching your funeral. But that's how much I love him. I want to honor his administrative assistants tonight. Superintendent Witherspoon and administrative assistant, my dear friend, Kenan. He and I go back a long way. I want to certainly thank God for your generous and lovely supervisor. She's a generous and lovely lady. God bless her. And I want to honor your beautiful bishop's wife. You know, one time, I shouldn't tell this, but I'm going to tell it. So, Sister Watson came to my house for dinner. Mother, she came for dinner. And the kids were all there, and she came for dinner. And we enjoyed her. So, Stacy had been before her and had dinner. And so the kids, they wouldn't like Mother Watson. <laughs> They refused to like her. I said, what is wrong with you all? They called me in the bedroom. They said, Father, who is that lady? We don't like her. We like Sister Stacy. And we don't like her. How can he come here with one lady and he's going to come again? I said, that's his mother. <laughs> they said, oh. Then they were sweet with her all the way. I want to honor the memory of your bishop. He was a wonderful man. He was a friend of mine. And after his passing, 
He had ambitions in the church. He, he had ambition. But God bless that even the things that he did not ascend to, God has blessed him in a son, a good son, to ascend in this church. And I want you to know, anytime, my message ain't going to be long. You know what he told me to tell you? He's able. I want you to say this. Anytime, I want to tell you this, anytime that the enemy try to come against your leader, let him hear the applause of the saints, encouraging him and building him up. Come on, let's praise God for this man of God. God is able. Okay, this message is not going to be long. Number one, you've got to learn to agree with God. Whatever. I thank God for my daughter in love. I believe that, sir. You know, people wearing masks now. I don't know, but is that my daughter, Contamara? God bless you, baby. Whatever God does is right. And so you've got to agree with him. So you want God to intercede on your behalf. You want him to work in your circumstances. But first of all, you've got to come into oneness with him and agree with him. Whatever he says is right. Whatever he tells you to do, it's right. And you've got to agree with him. They ran out of wine at a wedding. And... Uh, the mother of Jesus went to Jesus and told him they've run out of wine. She said to the disciples, agree with them. Whatever he says do. You want your church to grow? Stop following what people keep telling you to do. And whatever he tells you to do, come into agreement with them. You're laying in a hospital bed, agree with him. You got bills, agree with him. Faith is agreeing with God. You got to be at peace with him. You can't be in conflict with him. You got to be at peace with him. You got to agree with him. Come on, lift your hands. Come on now, open your mouth. I want to hear you praise him. Come on, I need to hear a sound in this room of deliverance. Now listen. Faith, number two is to discern what God intends to do. <laughs> you got to discern. You know, in the book of Proverbs, it's a word there in the Hebrew. It's a word that means discerning to discern. And it means you got to know when it's important for you to really discern. You see, even your enemy, the adversary, he goes about as a roaring lion. And I hear people say this all the time. Yeah, the devil's a roaring lion, but he's a lion with his tongue cut out of his mouth. He's a lion with no teeth and all that. Peter didn't write that for you to think that the devil was a devil with no tongue or with no teeth. He wrote that so that you could be actually vigilant. Be sober because your adversary, the devil, like a roaring lion, is going about seeking whom he may devour. You have to have a keen sense of discernment. You can't live saved by emotions alone. You've got to have a discerning spirit. So many of you are being fooled and tricked by false prophets and false apostles and false pastors and false bishops and false evangelists because you don't have no discerning. You're speaking in tongues and ain't got no discerning. You're dancing and ain't got no discerning. You got to know. What God intends to do. The Israel was traveling and had been without rain. 
Thank you, Jesus. They had been without rain, and they were perishing. Somebody came to the leaders and said, there's a seer in the town. We need to go see the seer. When they went in to see the seer, Judah was with them. And the seer saw Judah and said, Have it, if Judah had not been with you, Lord God, your people are not getting what I'm saying. He said, if Judah wasn't with you, I wouldn't even say anything to you. But because Judah is with you, go back out where you were. And don't worry that the ground is dry. I want you to discern what God intends to do. I want you to dig trenches. I want you to get ready. Because huh. it's getting ready to rain. I heard the prophet say, I see the clouds forming like the form of a man's hand. I hear the sounds of an abundance of rain. Beloved, faith is to discern what God intends to do. I, I, I had a big project and it, it cost a lot of money. And I, at the beginning of the project, I didn't have any money. And it was a big project. And so one morning I got up and I was afraid. I, I, I signed the contract and I was afraid. I said, God, I don't know what is going to happen. But down in my soul, I felt in agreement with God. I felt this is what God wanted me to do. And then I began to discern this is what God wants. On the day I signed the contract, no money. But at the start of the project, I had everything paid in full. Faith. Faith is to discern what God intends to do. Beloved, you got to stop living this life by emotion and how you feel. And I come to church, I don't feel, it's just like praising God. You don't praise God because you feel like it. Okay, I'm going to tell y'all clean off right now. I'm going to tell you clean off. All of you people that's dancing and shouting because you enjoying yourself, we're going to give you 30 more seconds. We're going to give you 30 more seconds. And all you're doing is jumping to enjoy yourself. I got saved June the 23rd, 1968. When I got saved, the saints didn't dance to enjoy themselves. They, they moved their bodies. They vigorated. They moved their bodies to glorify God, to praise God. It wasn't about them. It was about God himself. And many times when we used to dance when I got saved in 68, the people People would shut their eyes and they would dance to the glory and honor of God. Now you want to put on a show. Now you're trying to show off in front of people. You're crossing and flipping and doing all this, trying to make people think that you're so good at your dancing. But I know this. God needs a people that will worship him. He wants a people that will praise him. He wants people that will glorify and if I don't feel like it, I'm still going to bless him. Uh, problems in my home, I'm still going to bless him. I got trouble on my job, I'm still going to bless him. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises. Listen to me. I want to speak to you like a prophet tonight. If it didn't come, wait on it. If it don't come tomorrow, wait on it. If it don't come this year, wait on it. Because one day Shiloh is going to come. I got to feel it. I got to feel it. Come on. That everything. Yeah, 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 yes. Everything is going to be all right. Faith is to agree with God. Faith is to discern what God intends to do. Faith cancels the natural law. Faith can 
cancels the natural law. Joshua was fighting. God fight. He fought in Joshua. He fought for Israel, but he also fought with Israel. See, this is the thing. Let me teach for just a moment. See, uh, darker people, they want God to do it. They don't want to be involved at all. Just do it. But you got to get involved with God. He will do it, but he wants you to get involved. You see, you demonstrate your faith by getting involved. You, everywhere in the book of John that the word faith is used, in fact, the word faith is not actually used. The word is there is believe, but every time you see it, it's a verb. It's an action word, meaning that the person that believes God has to show that they believe God by acting on it. You know, Joshua's people, they start complaining. In Joshua 17, they start complaining. You know, uh, you gave us these lots. You was dividing up these lots, and we, we don't like what we got. And our father was Joseph, and Ephraim and Manasseh said our father was Joseph, and without him, the clan wouldn't even survive. And we don't want this lot. We want more than just this. Joshua spoke back to the descendants of Joseph, to Ephraim and Manasseh. He said to them, if you be a great people, then go up into the hill country and cut down a place for yourselves. See, God wants you to participate. And in Joshua, they had tenacity. I believe it's in the ninth or the 10th chapter, they had tenacity to ride all night against five kings. And when they showed stamina, when they showed tenacity, then the scripture says God killed their enemies with hailstones and said more were killed with headstones. Hailstones then Joshua's army devoured by the sword. And then the scripture said, where are you saints? Then the scripture says that while Joshua fought, he told the son to stand still. Faith canceled the natural law. Natural law, you dying of cancer. Natural law, you're not going to make it. Natural law, oh my God. But faith cancels the natural law. Thank you, Jesus. Number four. Faith is agreeing with God. Faith is discerning what God intends to do. Faith cancels the natural law. And this I love. Faith <laughs> moves only in one direction. Lift your hands. Come on, saints of God. I need to hear a sound of deliverance in this place. Come on, I need you to open your mouth. Come on now, I need to hear you glorify God. Come on, I need to hear you magnify him. Come on, I need to hear you give him the glory. Come on, praise him a little more. Come on, give him the glory a little bit more. Come on, praise him a little bit more. Open your mouth, come on. Open your mouth, come on. On, I need to hear you praise it. Come on, I need to hear you magnify it. Faith moves only in one direction and is never shaken by delays or circumstances. <laughs> God told Abraham and Sarah about this time God is going to come Sarah your dead womb is going to come alive 
Oh, Lord. The Bible said that when Abram and Sarai heard the promise, they laughed. So you got to be careful about laughing. You got to be careful about being sarcastic. Israel was in famine and wasn't no bread, no meat was in the city. The king of Israel, he, he walked on the balcony of his house and he, he put on a purple robe, but under the robe were sackcloths and ashes. Israel was in mourning because there was no food. The prophet came and prophesied, but on tomorrow, he said, meat and bread, bread going to be sold in the city. The Bible said the adjutant of the king said, if the windows were heaven, see, he got sarcastic. If the windows were heaven, if heaven were open, how could this be? I remember on Friday night in my church in Chicago, I kept asking, I said, I'm going to ask three people to stand with $10,000. In my church, some people in my church came up to me and said, Pastor, why every Friday do you get up and say, three people are going to give $10,000? I said, because three people will give $10,000. And they laughed. They were sarcastic. Listen to me. I was a young pastor there in Chicago, and my, my heater, heat and all that went off. And you know the Chicago windows are, win, winters are terrible. And when the, when, the, when, the, when the heat went off, all of my pipes in my church burst. Before this happened to me, before this happened, a lady in my church came up to me and she said, Pastor, everything is gone. She said, I've lost everything. I'm in foreclosure. They I've, I've lost everything. And she said, I don't have anything now. And blah, 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 she told me. And I went and called the deacons to me. I said, whatever she needs, give it to her. And so the deacons resisted me. They said, no, Pastor. We, you know, this lady, she could be running a scheme on you. She could be running a, you know, she, you don't know if she's telling the truth or not. But I know what my big mama used to say. I looked in her eyes and the tears was falling out of her eyes. I said, them was real tears. I knew that wasn't, she wasn't faking. And so I made them, they said, Pastor, I said, I don't care if you don't want to do it, you do it. And so they did. So that Sunday she came to church. Y'all not listening to me? That's, I was in a visiting church that Sunday, and she came out to the visiting church with a brand new car. The deacons bean lying to me. They said, Pastor, didn't we tell you? You done just made a fool of yourself. You helped this lady, now she got a brand new car. Da 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 da. Next Sunday, the lady didn't come to church, and she didn't come to church no more. Then my pipes bursted. Everything busted. When I came to the church, you know how ladies are in the church, you know women in the church they love their church so they had cleaned out this little room and put a heater in it and set some chairs in there and when i came in the church and seen what they did i broke down and started crying <laughs> and then that night i was sitting in my pulpit church was freezing they had all the little heaters you know and church was freezing i was a young pastor in fact, I called another pastor friend of mine who I knew was very well off, and I was getting ready to tell him what happened. And when I called him, he said to me, he said, I'm in the middle of watching a movie right now. I'll call you back later. In between him calling me back later, the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, you're trying to depend on flesh. You're not depending on me. You're depending on flesh. I repented. That night I went to church. I preached as regular. Pray for the people, and here comes this lady. I ain't seen her in almost three years. Here she comes, and she said, Pastor, what's the matter? I said, the pipes bursting and blah, blah, blah. She said, hold out your hand. I held out one hand. She counted out in one hand $10,000. She said, hold out your other hand, Pastor. In my other hand, she counted out $10,000. She said, now that 10,000 is for your church, but this 10,000 is for you. Another lady was sitting in the back of my church. She didn't know what this lady had even done. And she walked up to me and she said, Pastor, if it was any time that the Holy Spirit would speak to me, he spoke to me tonight and he told me to give you $10,000.
These people don't believe me, Lord. See, the Bible said in, in, in Romans 4 that Abraham was fully persuaded. Can I ask a question tonight? Are you? Jump on your feet and holler real loud. I'm fully persuaded. I'm fully. Persuaded. My heart is fixed. My mind is made up. I'm fully persuaded. Now, now before I finish, faith is not in faith. This is not uh what what's that thing? Uh, motivational speaking. This is biblical teaching. Because our faith is not in faith. The object of our faith is Christ himself. Lift your hand and say, I believe God. I'm not trusting in my own ability, nor am I saying if I think the right thing, if I say the right thing. Uh-uh. My faith looks up to thee. Lamb of Calvary, my faith is in an object, and that object is Messiah himself. He won't leave me. Now, I want to tell you something, and then I'm done. Man, I feel like preaching. Y'all don't mind me sitting in this chair, do you? I'm going to get up after a while. <laughs> Maybe not tonight. <laughs> All right? In Jeremiah, I need to hear you praise him. Come on, I need to hear you, saints. Come on, I need to hear you. In Jeremiah 32, 27, behold, I am the Lord, all caps, the God of all flesh. Is it anything too hard for me? Uh huh. Jeremiah 32 and 17. Ah, Lord God. It is you who have made the heavens and earth by your own great power and by your outstretched arm. Nothing, 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 nothing is too hard for you. Luke one thirty seven. Here's a God who brought about the miracle of life <laughs> without a man. Mary questioned, how should these things be seen if I know not a man? But I heard him say, nothing. This is what the angel told Mary will be impossible with God. 
what did I say? Luke 18, 27. But he said, what is impossible with man is possible with God. Point over and look at somebody and say, God is able. You see, able emphasizes the ability of God's action, that he acts according to his own will. Acts 20, 32. And I commend unto you God. I commend you unto God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among all those that are sanctified. I heard him tell Jude, now unto him that is able to keep you from falling, able to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God our Savior be glory, majesty, dominion, power both now and forever. Raise your hand. Open your mouth and say God is able. Yes he is. He's able. I know that God wants to give you he wants to give you a testimony. God wants to act in your life in a way that nobody else can get the glory but God. He wants to act in a way where the testimony that you give, you can't give the credit or the praise to anybody. The praise and the glory and the honor is going to go to God. Let me tell you what God did. He set Joseph the second in Pharaoh's nation. Uh -huh. He set him the highest officer in the whole land of Egypt. And then when famine came, the people of God came to Joseph. And they came to Joseph because God wanted to give his people a testimony. Thank you, Jesus. When they went to Joseph, they didn't bow down to no heathen king. But he put Joseph second in command so that David could write. I once was young, but now I'm old. I never seen the righteous forsaken. I never seen his seed bed bread. Raise your hand, open your mouth, and say, God is able. I know that some of you have lost things, and I'm coming in now. But in 2 Chronicles, the 25th chapter, the Bible says that Ammoniah had become king of Israel. The scripture says that he became king when he was 25. The scripture says that when he became king, he obeyed somewhat the word of the Lord. And when he got in position, he killed those that had killed his father. But he didn't kill their children. But the scripture says that Ammoniah, when he became king, the scripture says he had a war with Edom. And the scripture says, God, I wish I had a church in here. The scripture says that uh, he had hired those that were in Israel to come and assist him to fight and go up against Edom. The scripture said he paid them 7,500 pounds of silver for them fighting for him against Edom. But the word of the Lord came from the man of God. The man of God said, do not take Israel with you. For the Lord 
is not with Israel. You got to be careful who you join yourself with. You can't join yourself with weakness. You can't join yourself with people that don't believe God. I believe it's in Judges. He said, uh, do, not, uh, uh, do not take uh, Levi and Simeon up for the instruments of cruelty work amongst them. You got to remember that when you join yourself with somebody, you got to join yourself with somebody that's got like precious faith. You got to come away from people that God is not speaking to. Folks that can't believe God. People that are carnal and negative. You got to get away from those people. The word of the Lord came through the man of God and said, don't go with Israel because God is not with Israel. I'm going to give you a message to preach. If God's not in it, leave it alone. I heard him say that God was not with Israel. But then Ammoniah said, I have paid these people 7,500 pieces of silver. What about the investment I'm getting ready to lose? I heard the man of God say what I'm gonna say to you tonight. He told Amaziah, God is able. Even though you paid 7,500 pieces of silver, I heard him say, God is able to give you even more. I know you lost some things. I know you've been through some things, but God is able to give you more. Raise your hand. Say tonight, I came to the convocation. God is gonna give me some more. Yes, yes. Raise your hand. Come on, open your mouth. Come on, I need to hear your praise. Come on, I need to hear you give him the glory. He's able. Yes, he is able. I said he's able. Raise your hand and say he's able. Yes. Can I close my lesson? In Habakkuk 3, Habakkuk was angry. God, you set a nation over us to discipline us who is worse than we are. God, you put a nation over us to chasten us that's worse than us. I heard him say, I will go into the tower and I will stand upon my watch to see what the Lord will do. God spoke to Rebecca and said, Rebecca, when COVID come, Rebecca, when recession come, the just shall live by faith. Raise your hand. Yes. Yes. When the Lord, God Almighty, when the Lord, spoke to Rebecca. I heard Rebecca say, though the fig tree shall not blossom, neither shall fruit be on the vine. The work of the olive shall fail, and there be no meat in the field. The flock Cut off from the foe and no cattle in the stall. I heard him say, yet will I rejoice in the God of my salvation.
person because he's able. Yes, he's able. Raise your hand up in your mouth. Say yes. Oh. How many of you witness that he's able? I'm a witness he's able. I am a witness he's able. Right the last Sunday in the year, in 2009, I was on my way to Chicago, to my Chicago church. I had my ticket in my pocket. My organist was going with me. He had his ticket in his pocket. We were to leave at 3 o'clock. When I got up to preach, now nobody said this happened but me. Everybody said, Pastor, this did not happen. But when I got up to preach, it looked like I fell under the piano. Now, I know I didn't because there's no piano in the pulpit. But I was preaching about Hezekiah. He went up into the grove and he declared the beauty of holiness. My church said, Pastor, that's not what you were preaching. My God, I laid right in front of my church, close to five, six hundred people that day. I laid down and died. My God, when I died, the people began to beat my chest. They began to give me mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation, but no life was there. My God, one of the people attending me, who was a very, very experienced nurse, she said, you all can stop. There's no more that we can do. Pastor's already gone. When the ambulance got there, they put me on the gurney. They ripped my clothes off of me. They beat my chest. But when they put me in the ambulance, they wouldn't turn the siren on because they said he's already dead. When I got to the hospital, they registered me in the hospital. Cardiac death. But they had to add with successful resuscitation. God! God is! God is! you got your own testimony how many you got your own testimony how many can look back and see what the Lord has done for you if he's done anything for you open your mouth and say God is able yeah 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 He's able. He's able. I dare you. I dare you where you're standing now to just start jumping up and down saying, able, 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 able. Thank <laughs> you. 
need you to dance. In fact, I'm gonna dance with you. Because you know he's able. One, two, three, come on. to me. Do you know he's able? You know he's able? Listen to me. When I was at home in Chicago with my little babies, I didn't have anything in my house to eat. And I had my little babies. My wife was laying in the bed asleep. I sat up in the bed. I said, God, I don't have anything for my family. I don't have anything for my family. I know when you all say you ain't got nothing, you mean you don't have nothing you want particular. But I didn't have anything. Thank you, Jesus. And I sat up on the bed. I said, God, when my wife wake up, I got to feed my family and I don't have nothing. In our neighborhood, the postman ran at two in the afternoon. But this day, the postman ran at 8 a.m. in the morning. And when I went to get the mail, it was a check in the mail for $280. The letter said that I had overpaid a ticket. <laughs> now some of you say, that was just a coincidence. That was gonna happen anyway. But I'm here to tell you he's able. I heard him say, before you call me, I'll answer. While you yet speaking, I'll say, here I am. Raise your hand. Say, God. Hey. God is able. Yes, he is. I'm going to pray for you. The old saints used to sing a song, say, Goliath, Goliath, his name did ring, but God cut him down with a little boy sling. And the song say, God always come out a winner at the finishing line. Lift your hands. He sent me to you as a prophet. He sent me as a prophet to you. 
and he told me to tell you the Lord spoke to me the Lord told me to tell you that he's able I don't know what you're going through but he's able oh yes he does God wants to magnify his power in your behalf now before I pray I want you to obey me beloved I have always seen the miraculous power of God in my ministry these saints here can witness that a lady in our church hadn't walked in eight years she was brought by the handy the bus brought her and one Sunday while I'm preaching she pulled the oxygen out of her nose got up out of her wheelchair and went all over the church I seen the cataracts come off the people's eyes right into my hands I seen a lady that was 60 years old with polio healed these people don't believe me Lord if you believe God and say Pastor Bush I want you to pray the prayer of faith for me I want you to believe God for me don't be afraid step in the aisle Pastor Bush I want you to pray the prayer of faith in my behalf just stand in either aisle and I'm going to pray for you and I want you to believe God you can keep social distance don't be too close up on anybody just keep social distance bag up don't be too close on nobody I'm gonna pray the prayer of faith for you now if you're in my keep social distance y'all bag up don't be too close up on each other join them over another line now listen if you do not believe God this is just a ritual formality get out of my line I want anybody in my lines that don't believe God if you don't believe God go sit down get out of the line if you can't believe God go sit down go out of my line God see you he see you and if you stumble through unbelief you get out of that line because we only praying for people who know God is able Lift your hands and close your eyes. Lord, you told me to tell these people out of all the things we could have told them tonight, you said, tell them I'm able. Those that are facing foreclosure, repossession, I pray now that you will send a reverse. Turn this situation around now those that need better employment, promotion, an increase. God, I'm asking you in the name of Jesus to rebuke the power of the enemy. Now that demonic spirit, that evil spirit that's in that home, Satan, I adjure you by Jesus Christ. And I command you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ to cease right now in the name of Jesus. I bind you, Satan, at your cunning. I bind you at your craftiness. I command you to take your hands off these people in the name of the Lord Jesus. Satan, God binds you. He binds you. You're an evil worker and a liar, but God binds you in this room. Satan, I rebuke you. I rebuke you out of that body. I rebuke you out of that home. I rebuke you off that son, that daughter, in the name of Jesus. The blood prevail. The blood deliver. The blood make whole. The blood set free. The blood sanctify holy. The blood cleanse. Shut up the way of the enemy. Throw down this horse and rider. And get victory for your own name while you stir in Jesus' name. Lift your hands and say, Lord, help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help my son. Help my daughter. Bring them out of trouble. Let reverse come in the name of Jesus. We believe you for it. We thank you for it. Come on, lift your hands up in the air. You can have a growth in your body. If your body now is eat up with cancer and your kidneys are ruined, if your lungs are almost gone, remember God calleth the things that be not as though they were. Lift your hands. Father! Let your word be effective upon these, your people. And grant to them, precious Lord, full...
complete and perfect deliverance. Set them free from affliction, from every demon and devil, contrary, wicked, and evil spirits of every kind in nature. And now by the power of God, and by the name of Jesus, and by the ability of the almighty God, it shall be done. And we thank you, Lord. Come on, praise him for your deliverance. Praise him for your healing. Come on, give him the glory. Praise him. Come on, give him the glory. Give him the glory. Come on, open your mouth. Give him the praise. Go back to your seat glorifying God. Go back to your seat praising God. I want you to speak to it and say, God is able. <laughs> oh, yes, he is. Hey! to ask I'm going to ask 10 people to obey me tonight I want you to obey me in the spirit of God if you do this if you obey the right way God's going to bless you God wants you to do something extraordinary I want 10 people to give me a gift, to put it in my hand of $200. I want 10 people from all over this room to come by faith right now. I know you got things going on in your own life. I know you got things going on in your life, but God is able. Second Chronicles 25, God is able to give you more. Believe God and come and put it in my hand. I need 10 people that'll do it. Come on, from wherever you are, put it in my hand. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wherever you are, come on and put it in my hand. Come on, put it in my hand. Wherever you are, put it in my hand. That's it. Put it in my hand. If you're doing it electronically, I touch your phone. I don't have to put it somewhere. Let me touch your phone. Believe God. Believe God. Wait a minute. How many is that? got all these new ways of giving. Come on, put it in my hand. How many do this make? How many do that make? I need three more persons. I need two more persons. Come on, give it to me right now. Put it in my hand. Believe God by faith. Put it in my hand. Thank you. Put it in my hand. And just believe God. Just believe God. Now let me tell you something while I'm talking to you. Because I'm a pastor. Let me tell you something because I'm a pastor. I'm going to ask you, beloved. Your pastor want me to tell you this. My pastor, your pastor want me to tell you this. Don't stop coming to church because you don't have any money. All of us went to church when we didn't have no money. Don't stop coming to church because you ain't got no clothes. Because if you, if you love God and be faithful to God, he'll bless you with money. He'll give you clothes. Just keep on coming to church. Come on. Just keep on coming to church. I'm right or wrong. Just keep on coming to church. Thank you, Jesus. I sat in church for years. I can't even pretend I'm not rich anymore. I can't even pretend that way. But I remember when I wasn't. I remember when I didn't have. But I came on to church. Seven children, seven sons and two daughters, nine children. I came to church. My children went to Sunday school every Sunday. And I knew God was going to bless me. And he blessed me. I'm going to ask you to put the very best offering that you can get. Ten of you to give 100. So many of you give 50. Put the best offering you can put in your hand. Put that in your hand right now. And I want you to come and lay it on my hand. And I believe God for you. And when disappointment comes, misfortune comes, to him I plead. I am so glad to know. He's all I'll ever need. And when misfortune comes, come on, get the best gift you have and come on and put it in my hand. To, to him I plead. Oh, Lord, I am so glad to know that Jesus, he's all I'll ever need. And when Misfortune comes to 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 him I plead, oh Lord, I am so glad. To know that Jesus is all I'll ever need. 
He walked beside me. Come rain or shine, rain or shine. Rain or shine, he walks and talks with me. All of the time, all the time, all the time, and when. When disappointment comes, misfortune comes to, to him, to him I, to him I plead. I am so glad. To know that Jesus is all I ever need. And, and when misfortune comes. To him I plead, oh Lord, listen, I am so glad to know that Jesus Come on, lift your hands and while I sing it, worship with me just for when when misfortune comes to to him I plead, oh Lord. Come on, lift that hand. I am so glad to know Jesus is all I'll ever need. Come on, bless the Lord in here. Thank God for Bishop Bush. Come on and thank God for Bishop Bush. What a powerful word from the Lord. If you are online and perhaps you want to be a part of giving, uh, there has been some request for Cash App, but we, we don't have Cash App. But we have tithely, we have a, a text to give. So wherever you are, you can be a blessing even now. At 833-920-1642. 833-920-1642. And text give. And you can be a blessing to the ministry. I thank God for this, uh, this time. I thank God for you. Thank God for the 65th annual Holy Convocation. I want you to stand to your feet. I want you to stand to your feet as we get ready to leave. Life now is sweet and my joy is complete for I'm saved, saved, saved. Help me sing it again. Oh, life now is sweet, 
and my joy is complete for I'm saved 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 ask Pastor Sessions if you would come Pastor Sessions come and dismiss us on today hallelujah thank you Father Reach and touch somebody by the hand. As we're leaving, Father God, we thank you for what we have felt. God, we thank you for what our ears have heard. And God, we thank you for the mighty, mighty word of God that have come forth tonight. Now, as we leave this place, but not your presence, every person say, thank God. Amen. You're dismissed.